Hi everyone and welcome back to another Beetle Knees Plays video. Today I'm on Train Life a Railway Simulator and we're heading off to Paris. Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. So yes, today back on Train Life a Railway Simulator and we're going to take some grain from Cologne Farm to the Paris uh, mill, was it? I can't remember what it said now. Let's have a look in the actual information. So Station operator here. go what to we the sure. panel Here's what's available. and yes, Paris Grain Mill we're going to. So... That's where we're heading. We've got nine carts all together. So, uh, carts, is that the right word? And, uh, yeah, we need to get those picked up. So, let's do the coupling, uncoupling. And it says, can't open coupling, secure train with emergency. Yeah, okay, I forgot that. So, let's try that again. And there we go so yeah remember that you have to uh, put your parking brake on before you can load any of the trains i suppose it's a bit like uh, picking somebody up in a car or dropping them off and you wouldn't really do that without the handbrake on would you or if you did you'd be rather silly so uh what are we doing here we need to what's it say there move through the wagons and couple D couples. We need to put on the tracks first of all by pressing X. Okay. And then we need to press RT to couple D couple. That's it. Can't remove wagon wagons that are coupled. Well, that's fine. We don't want to remove them. Press finish. And we should have. There we go. They're all loaded on. So now just to put you in the picture, if anybody's not seen any of my videos before, I went through the tutorials of this. I did play it um, for a short while on the Xbox Series X when it first came out, then left it for a while and I've just recently come back to it. So I've gone through the tutorials, I did a couple of scenarios and this is basically starting work on my own company. So this is the first mission or job whatever you want to call it for my company and we've got a lovely sunrise starting at the moment just over there so it should be a good day hopefully it's not going to rain and we should have all the sat nav information put in which we have so we're going all the way down to Paris Grain Mill down there so let's get on with it We'll take the brakes off. We haven't got the handbrake, or have we? Yes, we have. We haven't got the handbrake on. And a little bit of throttle, and off we go. So, yeah, like I said, I, uh, I haven't been on this for a, a while, apart from just the last few times. And uh, I'm probably going to end up making mistakes. So, bear with me while I get my feet under the table with it a little bit more so we've got a broken train ahead already so I'm just going to ease off the throttle a bit we need to proceed with caution still going right so we're okay there bye bye to Cologne Farm How far is this train? And oh, is it showing it to the left, though, isn't it? So I'm just wondering whether it is actually ahead of us. I don't know. No, no, we've got two blues now. Bottom left there. We've now got two blues, so we should be okay. Let's get back inside the cabin. And next speed limit up ahead is going to be 90, 60 at the moment. Possible animals knocking about as well. Still need to keep to the right. So 
Something showing broken train ahead there though, isn't it? I wonder if... is that it? No, because that, that on the right hand side there, it's showing a hazard, but it's increasing that, so that, that must be behind us, it's got to be behind us. And the bottom left it's saying proceed with two blue, so that's clear track, so it should be, oops, going a bit fast there, it should be okay, let's just reduce that a little bit. The reflection of the sunlight there. That's better. So we've still got a clear track. And it's showing 110 in a, about 100 metres now. We need to keep right at the next junction. Let's get our speed up. Still saying broken train ahead, I don't know what that's all about. Oops, speeding. Get permission from there because I'm not entirely Hello. sure what happened there. This is, we're prepared to receive you and have marked tracks for your arrival. That was a quick speed limit change. I'm all fingers and thumbs here. Just close that, get me throttled down. Oops. We've derailed. <laughs> ah, dear, right, okay. I must admit, I got all fingers and thumbs there. What an absolute pillock. Right, okay. Let's load last save. Or do we pay penalty? I don't know what to do, to be honest. Uh, no, let's load last save. Right, I've got myself sorted out. I am back at the entrance to Arshan Coal Mine. And we will see <laughs> if we can proceed a little bit better this time. So, right, handbrake off. And, ooh, rolling backwards a bit. Must be on a bit of an incline here. Yep, better get our throttle on. Stop that roll back. Okay. Right, let's just make sure we've got permission. Hello. You've been given clearance. Thank Proceed you. to entry. Let's put the brake on by mistake. Can't get used to the back brake. Sorry, the um, the parking brake being on the B button. I'm using a game, uh, an X, sorry, an Xbox game controller, and uh, usually it's for the back button, isn't it? So when I press that for the request permissions and all this that and the other, uh, it. Um, it's just natural for me to press the B button to come back out of it. I suppose we could have a look at remapping that, but I honestly don't know what to remap it to, so... Right, so we've got speed limit of 50. Where are we heading to here now? Oh, we're going to have to uh, we're going to have to go into the service centre, aren't we? This <laughs> this video just hasn't started <laughs> hasn't started very well at all. Right, let's get into this service station and we'll turn the train round again. We obviously weren't supposed to come into this area, we were supposed to bypass it, but I think I was a bit late uh, changing the points over, so uh, we've ended up coming in here by mistake. Right, let's get the handbrake on, into the service centre, let's change the direction of the train, we may as well repair things while we're here, and fill up with fuel. 
and oops we didn't reverse it did we let's go back in and reverse come back out right let's hopefully this time get on our merry way without too much too many problems I do find myself like that though with this game there's so much to do sometimes and when you're batting on a 100k uh, things get very very tense I find and I just get all kerfuffle with my fingers and thumbs wondering which to pl uh, which button to press, which lever to pull, which thumbstick to move, you know? Just bring the throttle down. Now actually, before we carry on, I have to do this every time I go into this game. I'm going to change my map orientation to GPS. Because I'd rather have it pointing straight up the, the direction I'm travelling. For, for some reason, th th there's a couple of settings, actually three settings, that this game constantly wants to revert back to default. Even though I save the settings, it constantly wants to revert back to default every time I play the game. And that is the V-Sync, because I want the V-Sync on and it keeps wanting to turn the V-Sync off. The second one is, as you've just seen, it's the map orientation. And the third one, which I've just realised I need to do as well, is the audio. Because it keeps wanting to put the music back on again. And it's so frustrating, I wish Simteract would get on with this. I have to say, I'm not privy to... Uh, their uh, timeline for bug fixes and stuff like that but uh, I do wish they'd sort this save problem out because it's just ridiculous having to go into the settings every time to uh, to sort the game out how you like it to play okay let's get it uh, up to 100 or eight, no, sorry 80 now isn't it Rant over anyway. Let's enjoy the ride. Get back down to about 30% because that tends to kind of hold it on a, a level track at least, round about that point. Oh, do we need permission off somebody? This is the station. Your clips will arrive. We'll mark track. Oh, I've done it again, you see. Wanted to back out of. Uh, that menu and I'm pressing B button. Can't get used to that. To go right at the next one. And speed limit's eighty, so we're okay at the moment. Still keeping right. Oh yeah, I've just, just, <laughs> just realised it's because I set the game, is it? Look, V sync's off. Now you you probably won't notice it to uh, where you're watching it because it's 30 frames per second that I'm recording at. But uh, when you're playing it at 60 frames per second, the V sync. Uh, in most cases, I've noticed, most games needs to be on. And it, it, like I say, it's really frustrating that it keeps resorting to the default. But anyway, like I said, rant two over. <clears throat> no longer have access to Arsh and Coal Mine, that's fine because we're not taking grain to coal. Or a coal mine. We need a grain mill. Just take the throttle off. Just Going over the speed limit slightly. It's 
So yeah, so I learnt my lesson there. When it's looking like it's coming to an air, like an industrial area, or a built-up area, just get my speed down a little bit and take it a little bit steadier. I ought to know because that's what I remember about the game from previous plays. That it um, it can get on top of you if you're not careful. Now notice there's an animal or animals on the track about a kilometre up ahead. So I'm not going to increase the speed too much. So we have got a clear track ahead though with regards to any blockages. So I don't know where this animal is exactly. I mean I know he's 600 metres up ahead but is he on our side? Is he on the other side? Or she? Just get the horn ready. That's him. Right, that's got him out of the way. Disappear up into the trees, bless him. Right, let's get back on with it. So what are we actually expected to get there by? Um, and I have to say, I'm kind of looking around here a little bit blind because... I'm just looking for our current task and it doesn't really tell you on there, does it? No, I don't know. I'm a bit lost on that. I'm just trying to find out the time, expected time of arrival, and I'm not doing very well. So if somebody can help me on that in the comments, it would be appreciated. I've no idea, but I'm not wasting time. Let's crack on with it. Level crossing ahead, so it's wanting us to use our horn again. And traffic waiting as well. Let's go outside for a bit. So we'll keep full uh, throttle on at the moment because we've got an incline. It's nice to have the warning of things like that now. They didn't used to do that from what I remember. So that's a nice update they've done. I'm just keeping an eye on the hood. We need to keep right at the next junction for fine and we're still on a 120 speed limit so we've got a fairly clear run of things at the moment big factory over there with some big chimneys Batting on quite nicely here, aren't we? Just wish that speed would pick up a bit quicker. Although we have got a fair few wagons on. Now I could have taken some delivery wagons or, or wagons for delivery, but 
there weren't any uh, grain wagons at the farm. There was only livestock wagons. So I didn't really want to be messing about. I just wanted to take some wagons and be able to drop them off at the place I was heading to with the grain. And that wasn't possible. And for the amount of money I was going to get back, uh, it wasn't really worth the faff. So I didn't bother with that. But you can do that, for anybody that doesn't know, if you're picking a contract up. Now, I just tried it um, the other day, whether you could pick up more than one contract, and I couldn't. So I'm just assuming that that isn't a feature in the game. And, sorry, I'm just uh, watching out what's happening. Yeah, no, I want that one. So, oh. Let's just put the emergency on there. Because that's caught cool. there. No, stop, 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 stop. No, we've got a fine. Can't believe it. Oh, dear. This thing happens so often. With me, at least. So, I'm now going to have to back up. Because we can't proceed down there anymore. It's so late sometimes in warning you of these things. I, I do find that. I mean, I, I know I'll, it is better with, with that uh, bit of the hood down at the bottom left corner there. It is better. Uh, but things still, it's like uh, I said before, things really do come up really suddenly. And w when you're batting on at 120 kilometres an hour, you just can't stop. Oops. in reverse aren't we okay right so this time we're taking that left Now, from my point of view, being a perfectionist, it's not the best video I've ever done, I have to say. But, um, you know, shit happens and I like to really portray my videos as they are in real life. I don't put loads of polish on them or anything like that. Uh, you get what you you get, you see what you see and that's it with me, basically. Because this is, this is real playing, it's not... It's not heavily edited or anything like that it's what everybody does everybody makes these mistakes and hopefully by watching my videos you can learn from them um, and hopefully I do as well although very rarely <laughs> I never learn from my own mistakes right where's this bloody train up ahead Now is that train before the next crossover because we need to get back over to the right and I think it's yeah it's just here is it? so there isn't a crossover before it so a bugger off train. Right, let's get back over. Let's get the speed back up again. These things are sent to try us. Oh, and it was going so smoothly for a while. To be turning left. Get it back down to 30% throttle and 
now we need to go right at the next junction still seem broken train ahead it's behind us isn't it still quite a few things what sorting out in this game there really are it's probably that it's the reason why I didn't touch it for a while after playing it on the Xbox because so many things were wrong with it it, it was playable but it wasn't as enjoyable as it could have been and to some degree I feel that's still the same I still don't a hundred percent enjoy it like I do with some other games but it, it but it's at the same time it's a good game you know it's difficult to explain I, I do enjoy the game I, I, I enjoy train games I'm not that uh, familiar with train driving particularly um, on train sim world there's a lot of stuff I still don't really understand uh, but I enjoy playing them and let's just get permission no no we're okay we don't need permission oops done it again stop pressing that B button to back out it's not that button yeah it, it's a kind of uh, love it hate it at the moment I, I love the game for what it is it's an absolutely brilliant game really love the game but the bugs in it that are still there some of them it is improving as I said it's an improving picture and I know Simter Actor are doing as good a job as they can trying to sort all the bugs out but it still is a bloody pain in the arse sometimes So this is Brussels Main we're just going through then. I'm assuming this must be Brussels around the main station. Now something I do like about this game particularly which I've mentioned before but I'll mention it again is, is the graphics on it I do feel are very very good. Uh, it's easily comparable to Trains in World and I think you know, a big plus point of this game is the graphics. I do think they've done a really good job of them. And the way the traffic moves, in fact, for me, that the traffic actually looks better on here than it does on Trains in World. Trains in World, that the cars look a bit like toy cars, they suddenly turn corners like, you know, 90 degrees, and it just doesn't look right. On here, they seem to have uh, done a, a much better job, I think. Well, that's my opinion. Perhaps you want to put your own opinions down in the comments. So that's, a, from what I remember, a caution. A flashing amber. We need to be a little bit more cautious. Well, actually, it's a lesser speed. Is it a lesser speed limit, that one? I, do, I still get confused with these signals sometimes. I think it might have been a lesser speed limit. It's coming up with 50 in a while. It's an 80 at the moment, and it's coming up to 50 soon. So, yeah, I think that was a, a lower speed limit coming up. We've got clear track ahead, though. I do know the blue light means clear track ahead, and that's confirmed by the bottom left, where it says blue and blue. So we know the next signal is blue and the following signal is blue as well. Now, I don't know what happened there. What happened? Ah! Oh. It's happened again, guys. What is going on? Let's pay the penalty this time. Honestly, do not know what is going on. Was I travelling too fast? 
I just don't know. Until I replay the video, I have no idea. I was obviously going too fast for the situation, I appreciate that, but it, again, for me, it just keeps coming up too late, it, it's just too late for me, it's not early enough, it's like you've got a red signal and then literally within 100 metres you've got to bring the train to a stop, and I don't know, it, it's, just, it's just one of the downsides for me of the game is it, is it just doesn't give you enough warning like that. Unless it's me being stupid, I don't know. We've got another train broken down ahead, so we need to proceed with caution. Where is that train? It's 1,300 metres up ahead. So as I was saying before, love the game for the graphics, the graphics is one of the plus points for me. I think the graphics are really really good, but these bugs and, and this this late warning of things, and like I said, unless it's me doing something wrong, I don't know, but uh, I've never been so long sort of get, getting into the swing of things with the game as I have this one. It, it seems that I don't know, it seems to be a, an overcomplicated game and it, it shouldn't really have to be. To me, driving a train should be a relaxing experience and I don't get that from this. I find myself getting sweaty palm with it sometimes, to be honest. But again, you know, I'll leave that in the final cut. Guys, it's there for you to uh, have a, a look at and determine what went wrong. And as, as I said before, put it in the comments. Uh, but I like to show my videos as they are. Because this is how people play. So we've got another train up ahead. And we need to change. Right, I've got this right. We need to change to the left because that's got a red light on the right hand track. Well, that's probably what I did wrong last time, but, you know, I'm only doing 77 kilometres an hour at the moment. I was going a lot faster before. That's my excuse, anyway. <laughs> and I'm sticking to it. It's still the same broken train ahead again, you see, but uh, it's that train that we've just passed back there, so I'm going to up the speed and we'll get back over to the right as soon as we can. Which is what it's asking me to do. So 120 speed limit, so let's get this speed back up. With all these mishaps, we're... Uh, I've just realised what that fine was. That fine must have been a lot. Bloody hell. I'm sure I had about 125,000 euros when I started this game. I'll never have any money for a train at this rate. Well, that's the last time I'm doing that. I'm not paying the fine. I didn't see what the fine was, but as I said, when I started this game, I mean, yes, all right, I've, I've done, done done a couple of red lights and a couple of speed limit issues and what have you, but I had hundred, like I say, I had about hundred twenty-five thousand euros to start with, and I'm down. I'm, I've, I've halved my money. 
can't believe that. Oh dear. Right, okay. Keep calm and carry on. Clear track ahead. So we've got a clear track, so we're okay. Speed limit's 110, although it's going to be 80 actually soon, so we'll get that speed knocked off a little bit. Okay. A little bit more. That's better. I'll just up the throttle slightly just to maintain it. To keep to the right at the next junction. Now I'll be interested to uh, find out what happened myself back there with that crash. But I make the mistakes guys so you don't have to, just remember that. It ought to become a new motto of mine but I think somebody's done that before. Station access. We're prepared to receive you and have marked tracks for your arrival. Speed limit still eighty. Yeah, we survived that one all right. <coughs> On. No, it's going back up to 110 soon anyway. Start to get the speed back up. We've got eight kilometres to go then to Parish Grain Mill, just above the map there. <coughs> it says 8,000 metres just over, so that's eight kilometres. So I know that came out in the, I think it was the last update. So more animals on the track. Let's just get the speed knocked off a little bit. But that's, uh, that's round to the left, so actually we should be okay. We're not going that way, so... Now you see, what, what should happen is, is... Once I've come off that track, that message should disappear. And also, that symbol on the left side of the screen telling us how far to the animal should disappear as well. It should, they shouldn't still be there. They should, they should have gone now, I'm not going that way. So why they're still there, I don't know. I'm assuming it's a bug, still a bug in the game. 
it's probably one of the lesser bugs which is why they've not sorted it yet but uh, it's still something that wants sorting so we're keeping right speed limit's 120 and it's coming up to 110 in the bit see see how quickly that new speed oh, wrong one just managed to change that in time So that change of speed of it came up very, very quick. Very quick. So the next speed of it is going to be 110. We're over a nice bridge here by the looks of it. Very nice. Right, back on with the job at hand. So the next speed limit is 110, which is okay because we're only doing 90, and we're keeping to the right. That's fine. And we can increase our speed again. We shouldn't be that far away because we're around the Paris area aren't we so oh actually you know, we know that don't we because it tells you there like I said earlier so it's just over four kilometers <clears throat> I keep forgetting they've uh, they've done that in the update and a piece of information so there's no speed limit change in this next block according to the information If you stuck around this long guys, please give the video a thumbs up, it would be really much appreciated and subscribe for more videos and you would be very welcome. going to start bringing the speed down a little bit now so the next speed is going to be a hundred sure that's what that sign just meant the bridge zone whatever that means what does bridge zone mean oops got my brake on along with the throttle Keep left, and the speed limit is going to be a hundred in a while, but we're okay because we're not doing a hundred, so that's fine. Still keeping left. It's going to be 50 in 500 meters. So let's get that break on. Let's get it down to 50. We're still keeping left. Oops, wrong way. Right. And we need to request permission. Hello. This you've been given clearance. Proceed to entry. Now, are we on the right track for drop off? No, we're not. Bugger. So I'm just going to bring it to a stop and we will reverse back it out. 
ought to be looking out for that. Into reverse, Just throttle away. Let's get an outside shot. In fact, we get to the back of the wagons. We've got a better view of things. So we need to remember now the sat nav is actually going downwards, not upwards. So we'll get back to the front. Oops, we're looking the wrong way there, aren't we? Break on because we can't proceed anymore, and I don't want to go past that light again. Let's go back into forward, let's get back in the wagon, and let's get looking the right way. Okay, so we need to be keeping left here. Handbrake was on, that's why I wasn't moving. Okay. So yet again, the the answer to not making mistakes is to take it steady when you come into these areas where there's lots of junctions and uh, industrialisation, etc, etc. Because you, you just don't have the time, or at least I don't seem to anyway, you don't have the time to sort everything out. A steady plod in. So we need to keep right at this one. I'm looking for that orange track which is there, so we know we're on the right one, and we've also got the down arrow on that sign that's just gone through us. Just go a fair way up. Okay, should be okay there. It's a very smoky grain mill, isn't it? Okay, so handbrake on. And we press A to couple decouple, in this case decouple. And we need to do LB and RB to move through. So we need to decouple them all, so we'll just keep on the train there and press the right trigger. And confirm delivery. And finish. There we go. So contract completed, Cologne Farm to Paris Grain Mill, we've got 73,347 euros and we've earned 997 XP and far more uh, than experience points, we've hopefully learnt a lot of ex or a lot from experience from that journey. <laughs> So, as I said before, I hope you guys don't make the same mistakes I did, and I hope I don't make the same mistakes I did as well in the future. So, time was 14 hours 34 minutes, uh, wagons delivered 9, time modifier uh, eight, uh, sorry, 0.892, and we have parish requirements we've just got one more grain to fulfill and then we've got the other two which I have no idea what they are if I'm honest otherwise I think one's post isn't it the right one's post I don't know what the middle one is if I'm honest but uh, yeah we've we've managed to do something anyway haven't we managed to do so we get more details there we've managed to do something so right level three recruit so we're halfway we're over halfway up that before we move up to level four. Okay.
So, that's about it guys. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, please give the video a thumbs up if you like what you've seen. And please subscribe to the channel. I am a fairly new channel and I'm trying to grow my subscriber base. So it would be really appreciated if you subscribed to see more videos. And hopefully, next time, I won't make as many mistakes as I have today. Especially when I'm back on train life. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching guys. Take care and we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.